and Residents Association, Lynette Wells. Hi, welcome. Uh, kia ora and uh, thank you for having us here from the Isle of Anapa Rickerton residents. Uh, we just want to focus on two main concerns. Um, and the first one, uh, which I've outlined for you in this um, handout that's coming around, is that in the midwinter mid of last year, July, we held a seminar for, uh, which was organised by the Arlem and Upper Rickerton Residents Association on student urban villages. It was at College House and it involved architects, um, transport people, student uh, village people, social welfare and, and so on. We were looking at the whole thing. We had 23 speakers about it, this. And after the seminar, which... Um, we wrote a report uh, back to the Wigram and uh, Rickert, Upper Rickerton uh, Community Board. And one of the main rec uh, recommendations in that, uh, and we had quite a deputation from our area go to the Community Board, we squeezed in there, as Vicky will, and um, also uh, Councillor Chen will recall. Um, Peter Dow was asked um, and has subsequently put uh, our Isle and Upper Rickerton request um, in the form of their, uh, in their submission to the long-term plan. What we're wanting is for the Isle and Upper Rickerton area, for the Isle area which surrounds the university to be included and developed by the... Um, as a master plan. Now we're trying to work in a, uh, to take the initiative and work in a very positive manner with the University of Canterbury as it deals with their earthquake generated and future issues, uh, particularly in relation to student accommodation. And the, we asked the City Council and our community board uh, for assistance. We want to be a contributor and ensure that the development in that area is good development. Let me spell this out a bit more. The Arlem and Upper Rickerton residents believe that we need similar assistance um, to what's been developed in the master plans um, in other areas, particularly on the east of Christchurch. Um, we want to make sure that these plans are developed. And the most important thing is that we get the right process um, going in the proper engagement process. This is not happening at the moment. And we want to get the support, the professionalism and the expertise that the urban um, design team can bring to our situation. Uh, their attitude and also the approach, it's well honed and they've done this before in Littleton. I've listed there Sydenham, um, Linwood uh, Village, Selwyn Street Shops, and um, Main Road, Ferry Road, Sumner Village, and more recently, New Brighton. Now, and then also the Edgware Village. So there's all of these um, master plans have to be developed. We're asking that the Isle and Upper Rickerton area be included in that, and I'll tell you why. The University of Canterbury um, currently has 1.1 billion in their total budget uh, for the buildings on campus, and this includes their insurance work, the government investment, and the UC investment. And you know that's a huge in, uh, amount of development and work that's going into our side of the city. The Isle and Upper Rickerton area has also 
a large amount of money going into via insurance and business development into the Craig Road Island shops, the Bupa Rest Home on the Filtex site there. Um, there's a dementia hospital there, there's the Bush Inn, all the development in that area, and the total is certainly two billion or over. So what we want is the um, urban design team of the City Council to assist us with a process that will lead to a high quality urban design, particularly uh, in relation to the student urban villages. We discovered in our seminar, and as a result of all of that, that much of the um, University of Canterbury's work is very ad hoc. For instance, some of the Dovedale development that they had lined out in their, pay, uh, in their books were simply cut and paste from the Breathe Competition Village. Uh, we were quite alarmed just to see this cut and paste uh, stuff happening because residents in our neck of the woods are selling their properties believing that what is being put out in these high glossy brochures is for real. And it isn't really. We need to have a proper engagement process uh, with professionals such as the uh, City Council Urban Design Team. The, also, the Island and Upper Rickerton residents have asked through the official information request for the University of Canterbury to release information about student numbers. And as I speak to you today, uh, we have gone back to the Ombudsman uh, requesting uh, that the University of Canterbury treat us as the other tertiary institutions have and release the figures on their documents. They are trying to hide what the student accommodation future needs are in Christchurch. We are quite concerned about that and we're glad that the Ombudsman is helping us about that. Now the second area that I want to talk with you about is the, in particular, your long-term plan and what it says about um, the Dovedale campus and how residents are very highly agitated and concerned that this is going to be the new party central for Christchurch. And you will have seen recently on 60 Minutes, I think it was, uh, the Otago residents around the university in Otago being really concerned about the al alcohol fueled um, activities that are going on around Otago University in Dunedin. And also, uh, we are very familiar here in Christchurch with what's happened in Rattray Street and around the streets of Rickerton. These are of high concern and we understand them around the Dovedale campus. Now I want you really to look closely at what the City Council is doing um, about the Dovedale campus. I think you need to be following the advice of the Otago Vice-Chancellor, uh, Professor Harleen Hain, and also Professor Doug Silman, and support the wishes of residents. We currently have a permanent alcohol-free zone, and the Isle of Rickerton residents are concerned that it's going to be overridden um, when the City Council allows in their long-term plan for the alcohol to be sold and supplied on the Dovetail campus up to 11 p.m. We have very close there the New World, we have Henry's, we have a whole western, a westward drift of all the alcohol outlets in our neck of the woods, and we don't need a big party central in Dovedale campus. So you're referring to page numbers, um, Lynette, and I can't, I can't relate the page number to anything. What page of what? I believe it's out of the long-term plan. No. Is it the district plan? Have you, yeah. have you got this mixed up with the district plan it Maybe the district plan. Yeah. I'm sorry if I got a little mixed up. Yeah, it's not something, if it's the district plan, we can't really deal with it here. Oh, okay. It's a different process. Is it? Um, I mean, it, it goes to your submission, I guess, around the idea of a master plan for Ireland and Upper Rickerton. It doesn't really 
I mean, it adds to that, I guess. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that what you're, what you're wanting for here is relates to the district plan, but I'm not sure what Well, part. it could well be because uh, the, we've got a small work group uh, in, within our group that has been working specifically on this. Yeah. Uh, and you they certainly have tied thing, up and they know? asked for me to raise okay. this here. Okay. Yeah. Do you know where it's up to? Which part? Is this stage one or stage two? Uh, I mean... Maybe uh, it's got... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just want to... I want to kind of point you in the right direction so that... Maybe yeah, we'll do that by email afterwards. OK. Yeah. But I, I guess the opportunity here is to tell you that we're really shaping up to be party central in our neck of the woods, uh, and we're not pleased with that. Yeah. And we do need some... I mean, the, the thrust of the main part of this that about the master plan, we really do need... A lot of money is being spent around the university, and we do need um, some help uh, from the urban you know, design team mm. in order to be able to help us uh, get something that's desirable and safe for residents out there. Yeah. And we think that made, the City Council should be part and parcel with the, of that. Um, the liquor ban areas in Upper Rickerton where we extended the liquor ban area, but the university made a case for the campus to be excluded from the liquor ban. Um, basically citing the premise that they have their own controls internally to manage the university campus and any liquor ban would be restrictive on um, some of their uh, activities within campus. So that's perhaps where some of the concerns may be addressed and, and maybe we need to, there needs to be further consultation with the university itself on how they manage that um, program within their own campus. Yeah, well you couldn't, you couldn't progress this without consulting with the university either. So, um, but look, thank you very much. We'll all right. take that on board. Um, I mean, it's perfectly in order to, to, to raise all of these matters, um, but I'll, offline we'll make sure that we get your second element into the right, um, into the right space for, for it to be effective. Yeah. Yes, thank okay. you very much. Thanks very much.